Today we are going to discuss about the latitudes and longitudes. The Earth's grid system. You can see the atlas. With the help of atlas, we can point out some of the countries and some of the places with the help of latitudes and longitudes. And with the network of latitudes and longitudes, our grid is formed. With the help of that grid, we locate one place on the globe. And you know, we have studied in the earlier class about the hemispheres. Northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere. These are the four hemispheres. What is Northern Hemisphere? The part, the area lies above the equator it is called Northern Hemisphere. The area lies below the equator it is called Southern Hemisphere. And also, the area lies east of the prime meridian, zero degrees longitude, is called Eastern Hemisphere. The area or the port lies west of the prime meridian, is called Western Hemisphere. You see these hemispheres in this picture. Latitudes. The horizontal circle which goes round the earth in the middle divides and it has equal distance to the North Pole and the South Pole is called equator. It is dividing equally the globe into two parts, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The equator designated as zero degree. And when we move from the equator to the north pole or south pole, we see the series of circles. These are called latitudes. This latitude equator is designated as zero degrees. And all the latitudes are designated in degrees and minutes and seconds. When we move towards from the equator to the poles, we see the series of circles. These are called latitudes. And there are 90 latitudes towards the north from the equator and 90 latitude towards the south pole from the equator. When we count from the north pole to south pole, there are 180 latitudes are there. But we are not including the equator here. Including the equator 181. And they are designated with the direction also. The word latitude derived from Latin word latitudo means width. Here there is no latitude below the zero degrees and there is no latitude above the 90 degrees. 
दी नाइंटी डिग्री नॉर्थ पोल लैटिट्यूड दी नाइंटी डिग्री साउथ पोल लैटिट्यूड दे आर नॉट सर्किल्स ओनली दे आर पॉइंट्स बिकॉज वेन वी मूव फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर टू द नॉर्थ पोल आर साउथ पोल द साइज ऑफ द सर्किल्स आर डिक्रीज फाइनली दे डिक्रीज इट टू ए पॉइंट नॉर्थ पोल पॉइंट एंड साउथ पोल पॉइंट and each latitude is designated with a direction north or south for example 10 degrees n 10 degrees northern latitude it means 10 degrees s it means 10 degrees southern latitude and some latitudes are named separately for example zero degree latitude it is called as equator and 23 and half degrees in the northern hemisphere latitude is called as the tropic of cancer 23 and half degrees southern latitude is called as the tropic of capricorn and in the north 66.5 degrees arctic circle in the south 66.5 degrees latitude is antarctic circle in this way they are designated with the direction so finally the equator is dividing the earth into two parts as northern hemisphere southern hemisphere hemi means of the northern hemisphere northern hemisphere is located between the equator to the north pole the southern hemisphere is located in between the equator and the south pole longitudes these are the semi circles not full circles they will connect the north pole and south pole and every longitude connects the north pole and south pole and passes across the every latitude longitudes this word derived from the latin word lo means length these are also called as meridians because of they are indicating the time and these are the semi circles they are not full circles semi circles and they are connecting the two poles north pole and south pole and every longitude passes by cutting the every latitude and the main 0 degrees longitude which is passes through the astronomical observatory at greenwich in england it is called 0 degrees longitude or prime meridian or greenwich line or greenwich longitude so we have to count the longitude from the 0 degrees or greenwich longitude so every country in those times try to pass this line through their territory but finally england decided and this line is passed through the england because england ruled in those times a large vast area
will unroll to vast area in those times. Now here, these longitudes also designated by the degrees and are divided into minutes and seconds. And we can divide the longitudes into two groups eastern longitudes and western longitudes. The longitudes from the 0 degrees to 180 degrees east are called eastern longitude and the longitude from the 0 degree longitude to west 180 degrees are called western longitudes. And the which longitude is opposite to the equator to the outside of the globe is called anti-meridian. Here anti means opposite. The 180 degrees longitude is also called as anti-meridian. 0 degree longitude is called as prime meridian. And these longitude are also designated with the directions east and west. It is indicated by W and E capital. Here and also we are pronouncing the Greenwich. Of course it is spelled as Greenwich by accent. We are pronouncing it as the Greenwich. And these are all the imaginary lines. All the latitudes or longitudes. All are imaginary lines. And our ancient Indian texts also giving the information about these longitudes. A special book, Surya Siddhanta, is explaining about the Longitude passing through the Ujjain and also the famous persons Aryabhatta, he knew the meridians passing through the Ujjain and other places. And Varaha Mihira, he is also knew the meridian passing through the Alexandria. And other ancient Indians also measured these with the help of star Dhruva and also we have to remember these latitudes also called as parallels because these are parallel to each other when we move towards north or south to the equator and why we call the longitudes as meridians, the meridians is the word derived from the Latin word meridiana. It means known. So, the sun falling overhead noon at any longitude. It is related to the time. So we call it as the meridians. 